What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we have some Funko news updates including anime, Marvel, DC, and a couple other things. So let's check it out. Now today we do have a lot of new things to go over, but before we jump into all that, we do have our question of the day, and that is, name a Funko Pop in your collection that is holding something in their hands, and I'm choosing Itadori where he's holding some snacks. Now I've never really stated this in the video, however, if you guys ever see anything that is newsworthy and you feel like a lot of people need to know about that update, make sure to send me a message over on Instagram, send any photos you have, and I'll definitely check it out. Now we're gonna be going over some of the brand new Funko announcements, including Shazam! Fury of the Gods. So as you can see, we do have a ton of brand new pops, and we've actually seen these for a while now given they started hitting stores a little earlier. Now, funny enough about these pops, I thought they were going to be announced at Funko Fair because the movie releases in March, like March 17th or something like that. So I figured this would be a nice Funko Fair announcement, but they announced it before the event. But some accounts are saying that we could still see it announced again over there. I don't really know what that means. But anyways, we have Shazam pops now. Now, if you guys want to pre-order any of these Shazam Funko pops, some pre-orders are saying April through June. However, some are also showing in stock. So make sure to check around and shop around. For any Pop Rocks fans, we do have a brand new Guns N' Roses Funko Gold here, a five inch figure with that Chase variant where he does have the skull face. This one is currently available for pre-order at most places as well if you'd like to pick it up. Now today we did have two new Funko Shop drops. We did have both Snoop Dogg exclusives limited to 13,000 pieces. Now these ones also did drop in store. Let me know, did anybody actually go to the store location or did you just decide to shop online? I'd love to know how it went. Now another Funko Shop drop we did have was the Diamond Tapatio Man. This is basically just a diamond collection version of the common nothing really new here turned into a Funko Shop exclusive but it did not sell out if you guys would like to head over to the shop and pick it up now. Some overseas news here we do have two new exclusives we do have the Sprite bottle cap as an exclusive as well as the Mickey Mouse that's exclusive to Hot Topic in the States will be a pre-mark exclusive over in Europe for anybody looking for that one. Now for the Sprite bottle cap we don't know where this one's exclusive to just yet but I have a good feeling it might be like Hot Topic or Box Lunch so make sure to stay tuned on that one and thank you Sherwin for sharing. Now for Funko NFT fans we do have the next NFT drop announced by Funko, which is Sid and Marty Croft Pictures. Now, these will be dropping on January 17th, 2023 at 11 a.m. PST, which is 2 p.m. EST. I was relatively surprised they decided to do these drops instead of something a little bit more popular like Marvel or DC, but very interesting here. Let me know if you guys are going to go after them or pass on them. Now, our last new item today was AAA Anime's newest exclusive, Tanjiro, Tanjiro's father, don't get the names mixed up, they're kind of very, very close together, but anyways, Tanjiro Kamado there doing the Hinokami Kagura dance. Now, I'm showing you some in-person photos here that I took and staged outside. I think they turned out really well, to be honest. But overall, this exclusive turned out great. I was kind of hoping it had some kind of chase, but the chase would be really hard to do because there's really nothing else to do with the pop. So I'm kind of glad it's also just a standalone exclusive. But again, I think all the detail on this is amazing and definitely one of the better Demon Slayer exclusives to release. I will say when I had you guys guessing for this exclusive over on Instagram, you guys threw out a lot of great guesses. Now, I intentionally actually messed with the pattern because if I did the original checkered pattern it would have given away instantly and that's really no fun so I changed it to stripes instead of checkers and obviously that made it a little harder a lot of people were really guessing Kisuke from uh, Bleach I personally would have loved to see Kisuke unfortunately that was not the character they chose here but Kisuke should be coming in the future for those wondering anyways but overall you guys did some great guesses and it's always fun to do kind of like a teaser reveal like this so I definitely plan to do more in the future if you know AAA anime allows me to now, if you guys are looking to pre-order this exclusive, I did leave a link in my description box, so make sure to check that out. And the good thing about this one is the fact that it is actually already here. Like, most of the stock is already here, so it should be shipping out relatively soon. And by soon, I would still give it like a month, maybe two months max, but just know the stock is here. They just have to sort out all the orders once they're placed, essentially. Feel free to leave a comment down below on how you feel about this exclusive. Would you have preferred a different character or not? Let me know how you guys are feeling about this one. Personally, for me, I think it's very unique. It's unneeded, I would say, because like he's not a very like shown character other than like early in season one. Other than that, yeah, that's all I'm thinking. Other than that, he's not very shown much, so I can see why a lot of people maybe wouldn't like this pop but I still think it turned out very unique. Now moving on to a couple shipping updates for some anime exclusives. Firstly, we do have Armor Chopper, the Funko Shop exclusive. Now, it does look like for this one, delay emails have been going out. Looks like Funko's a little bit behind in their warehouse right now shipping out these exclusives. And it is kind of weird because this one dropped like two weeks ago, so I feel like it shouldn't take this long to get out, but 
Again, apparently they're having warehouse issues. So if you haven't received an update at all on your pop, that's probably why, so make sure to give it some more time. Now spotted overseas and shared from one of my subscribers, Strike here, we do have first looks at Maduro Chiha, also Toby, the uh, Dragon's Trading exclusive here. So we do have a look at the glow in the dark feature where his eye is glowing, as well as parts of the robe. I think it turned out all right. Again, just something that wasn't really needed for a pop, especially just remake of the common, but still, I think it turned out kind of nice. Now again, this one is being sold overseas at the moment, so another month or two, we should be having this one in hand for Dragon's Trading. For Jujutsu Kaisen fans, if you ordered the Sukuna Walmart Deluxe exclusive, just know this one is starting to ship out right now, so make sure to check your emails if you pick this one up. Now this one isn't technically anime, but we're going to throw it in the same category as animation. We do have first looks at the Aang Walmart Pop and Tea Bundle here that is Glow in the Dark. I think the glow on this one turned out really, really nice. So thank you, Distracker, so much for sharing that. This also means that the Walmart orders are starting to arrive. So again, check your emails on this one. Now here I did want to give you a closer look at the upcoming exclusive Iron Spider here where he is unmasked. Now shared from Matano's collections over on Instagram, you do have a look at him kind of like beaten up, bruised up all over his face, holding the iron gauntlet there. And he actually has his hand in the pose like he's about to shoot a web. I think this one turned out really awesome to be honest. Like. I'm more convinced of it, like liking it out of box. However, I still think I want to pass on it because this is like the fourth or fifth iteration of this Iron Spider. I wish they would move on to a different character, but it looks fantastic. Now our last update for this video is shared from Aiden Vary. It does look like the She-Hulk comic cover is starting to hit target stores. So check your local store if you guys are looking for this one. This is not what I'm looking for. The one I'm looking for is the Miles Morales comic cover. That is the one I want, and I cannot find it at any targets near me for some reason. I found one. I think I was in another state. I did find one, but it was all ripped up, and I was like, ugh. So, I recently just got Stan Lee, so I would love to have Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Venom. Like, I'm trying to get all the Spider-Man related ones, and it's not working out. I don't know though, has anybody found Miles Morales near them? Let me know in the comments because I cannot find this one. Okay guys, those are all the updates we had for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want to pre-order anything that is pre-orderable that we mentioned in this video, check out the description box. I left some links down below for you. Now as a reminder, make sure to smash that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the video a lot in boosting it up. As well as click that subscribe button and notification bell. If you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around for daily videos. Now to end off the video, I do want to say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys absolutely rock. Thank you so much for your support and your love towards myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We do have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with now over 16,000 members. That's a crazy number, so make sure to check that out down below. And lastly, be following all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.